I'm Pete Newsom from Zengig, and I'm on today with Carrie Dills, one of my favorite people who is a professional WordPress developer, an expert WordPress developer. Carrie, you've developed in WordPress for more than 10 years, 25 years in technology. You're a LinkedIn trainer. Tell me, what is life like as a WordPress developer? Well, it's always a little something different. <laughs> the WordPress ecosystem is huge. It powers over 40% of the web. So you can imagine that the range of jobs available are you know, specifically to a developer, to somebody that might be more in a marketing role or a content creator, publisher, uh, somebody that develops products, uh, themes or plugins for the WordPress ecosystem. It's, it supports a, a whole huge network of, of opportunities. Now, if someone wants to become a WordPress developer, where do they start? Well, this is going to be a little self-serving, Pete. <laughs> That's like, okay. Basically, when you when you go to learn anything new, there's I kind of boil it down, and there's two ways to do it. Um, with the internet, and now even with AI, and and you know asking good prompts. Um, you can go dig up just about any information you want. Uh, it may take you kind of like, you know, going to the thrift store, digging around to find the right outfit or the right information or code examples that you need. But if you don't mind doing that, that's a great way to learn. Uh, and it's no cost, um, but it's not very structured. On the other hand, if you want structured learning, then maybe you're reading a book or the self-serving part. Maybe you're taking one of my courses or another instructor's course on uh, learning WordPress development on LinkedIn Learning. Uh, but those are kind of the two main buckets. So it kind of depends if you're looking to do something. Um, if you're starting from zero, I recommend a more structured approach just to kind of walk you through all the facets of it. Uh, whereas if you already have some experience for your belt, under your belt, maybe you're just looking for how to do X, Y, Z. Well, that would be a great case to, you know, just Google it and see what kind of examples you come up with or tutorials. Now, I, I know that a lot of developers, um, you know, get into that world because they started outside of school. Like you said, there was no structure. They're just into it. Do you think you have to be? into it using that you know, very scientific term, or can you have a successful uh, uh, um, career as a WordPress developer when you're just viewing it as a job? Well, I think you totally can. Uh, and because it supports such a wide range of types of jobs that whether you're someone who enjoys being super, super technical, or you're someone who enjoys creating content, um, or you're somewhat, you're a designer, or you enjoy consulting with clients. There's so many things under the umbrella of, uh, that you can do with WordPress that it kind of serves a, a wide range of careers. If you were starting today, where, where would you, where would you begin? I mean, if you, if you went back or, or rather, how did you begin? Maybe that's more relevant. <laughs> Well, this is a little bit meta. Uh, I actually so I'd already had a background in tech um, and specifically in web development, but had never been, someone introduced me to WordPress and I was kind of amazed by all the things that it did out of the box. Uh, and so I went and uh, for my birthday, my dad actually gave me a subscription to lynda.com, which is now LinkedIn Learning. And that was my first exposure to formal WordPress training was from uh, from a, an instructor named Morton Rand Hendrickson, who was the only WordPress instructor on the, that platform at that time. Um, and then some years later, I, I joined it as an instructor myself. So it's kind of full circle. Oh, that is full circle. That's great. I love it. Um, now, what's your favorite part about the, the your role? I like the variety. So I'm, I consider myself a developer for sure, but I also en enjoy, you know, working with you, uh, talking with clients, trying to figure out what the actual problems is or that they're trying to solve and then figuring out a way to use technology creatively to do that. Well, it seems like there's a lot of research. There's a lot of, hey, I have to go figure this out. There's not really a manual you can open up with instructions. You have, I can tell just from working with you for the past couple of years, you have to be creative, innovative at times, but do your own research seems to be a, a big part of the job. For sure. And I frequently, if I get stuck down a rabbit hole and 
am having a hard time figuring out how to how to do something specific, I have to remind myself to back up and think of what is the actual problem I'm trying to solve. And maybe there's a different avenue I can take. So sometimes if I feel kind of dead ended and going down one path, uh, it's getting a little bit creative and thinking, all right, maybe there's some other ways I can do this. And what about the other side of the coin? What's your least favorite part of WordPress or being a developer? <laughs> oh, <clears throat> don't say, don't say uh, clients that you work with. No, absolutely not. I love my clients. They, they pay my bills. Um, I, Technology, and this isn't specific to WordPress, but it's true in WordPress. There's so much, whether it's uh, whether you want to deep dive into front end web development or doing more back end web development, or you know, every you ask a developer how you do something, and you know, you're going to get a different answer for every single developer in the room. So sometimes just figuring out how to hit your stride in terms of what you're tech stack is, your preferred uh, plugins, your preferred base theme, your preferred, you know, insert, whatever. Um, that can be kind of time consuming and frustrating to get set up. But then once you, once you get it set up, you know, things start flowing. All right. Good deal. So it's not going to just, uh, everything's not necessarily going to fall in place, you know, from day one, <laughs> when you begin your career, what a shock. Right. <laughs> yeah. Tell me any career where that's true. And I might switch gears. Well, you know this because you were there uh, in the early days of Zen gig with us. You're a big part of that, that our logo being a Z as a winding path. That was one of the early options. If you remember, that's not a coincidence because we know that careers are rarely a straight line. Very few people that I know of uh, because I'm old. I know a lot of people and have seen them go through their careers. You know, it, it is a winding path and you have to figure it out. So I'm glad you answered it the way you did, because I think that's what people need to hear who are considering um, you know, following this path. But well, all right. So from outsiders looking in, what would surprise someone about life as a WordPress developer? So I'm freelance. It means I work in, I work independently. I'm not working for any particular company. Uh but WordPress, there's something called the WordPress community. And it's this large group of people who are either contributing directly. WordPress is open source software. So they're maybe contributing directly to the project through code, through translations, through uh, documentation or training. There's over a dozen ways that you can contribute to the WordPress project. And there are all these humans involved behind it. And the beautiful part is... Uh, I have made friends over the years. Our mutual from Rebecca is one that I've made through the uh, WordPress world, and she's a lifelong friend now. Um, the 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 dark side of it is because you know people are humans; that there is sometimes drama and a little bit of conflict, and people rubbing up against each other the wrong way. But you know, if you're just using it as software, you might not really think about all the people behind it that are actually powering it. A lot of different opinions. <laughs> yep. So you mentioned AI. I wasn't necessarily planning to ask about this, but I'll take uh, advantage of the opportunity to. Sure. How do you think that's going to uh, impact your role over the foreseeable future? As a developer, I've seen some really cool things. Uh, I use GitHub, which is a code uh, code repository. <laughs> I can't talk. Code repository for versioned code. And they have a product called Copilot that is basically a, um, it's a tool that works with your development environment where you can, it, it writes code for you. Uh, of course you have to know, as I know you've played a ton with prompt engineering and trying to get the, the response you're looking for. So it's, it's not just, you know, I'm gonna sit back and drink a Coke while this <laughs> does all my homework for me, um, but it has, sped up the process in some cases of actually getting some boilerplate code just out the door, uh, which is really cool. So I see it as an additive uh, for developers. Um, and I think those who who learn to work with it and embrace it to, or leverage it to enhance their work will will find success versus, you know, I'm not I'm not really worried about being replaced by a, by a bot anytime soon. That's good. That's comforting to know. 
Uh, <laughs> you mentioned free, you're a freelancer. I'm going to ask you to uh, do a full episode uh, on a podcast with me about that. So we won't go down that road now, but I will ask you one final question. Have you found careers in? I think so. I, well, I'll, I'll preface it by saying I will never, I'm 40, I'm almost 49, and I will never know what I want to be when I grow up. Uh, that will just be a, a constant in life. And I used to be really angsty about that in my younger years, and now I've just fully embraced it. Um, so I think I'll always kind of be looking for the next challenge. Uh, but that said, I love what I do. It's a really great mixture of creativity, um, of challenging things that challenge my brain and also uh, just a little bit of social aspect doing a lot of client work. So never boring. Yeah, I'm in for it. <laughs> awesome. Carrie Dills, WordPress guru. Thanks so much. You betcha. Thank you, Pete.